Sorry, Andy, I'm late. I uh, almost missed lunch. Hey, you did. We had we had a pizza lunch today. It was Wednesday pizza lunch. We had Papa John's. I hope you got some, but we have a lot of people talking. Let's close the door. So come on in. I'm getting ready for um, Steamworks, and I noticed that Frank Merrick had the same um, glasses on his hat. So this will be my hat for this year for Steamworks. It's Wednesday, uh, the first week. You've got some deadlines on Friday. So Friday noon, first choice priority list. There's some new items in there that weren't available during the time before kickoff, so check it out. The FRC community has a new Q&A to ask questions. There's, I think, a, a Dean's List student that came up with this neat program. It's just being rolled out this week. Let's be patient as it's new. FRC sent out a team update last night, so check the team update out. They talked about not moving gears in the airship, if they're already placed, other stuff like that. But check it out, I'm sure you can get more information than I just told you. One of the biggest challenges I've seen so far is the volume constriction for your drive base, or for really for your whole robot. The volume constriction, are you gonna be at an A volume or a B volume? And how are you gonna manage that throughout the match? How are, are you gonna climb the rope? How are you gonna collect balls, reach outside your frame perimeter while still maintaining your robot size within the volume? That'll be a challenge. And also realize that it's kinda of odd this year, but your bumpers must be within that frame volume or that robot volume that's an A or B volume. Don't just think your robot can be the size of that volume and then you add bumpers on the outside. No, no, no. On our team, we did a, a calculation of, of stacking spheres or sphere packing. And I think depending on the A or the B, we got about 180 or 170 balls to be stored within the frame of a robot if it's an A or a B. So you might do the same calculation and find something different I don't know, maybe tell me if I'm wrong or right. Go through your kit of parts, make sure all the parts are there, and if something's missing or something's broken, fill out this sheet, team number, all this information, and tell them which part was not in your kit of parts. Hopefully, your kit of parts had all the parts in it, like my team had all the parts in it. But if not, tell first about it. You have until Friday at noon to do that. We've seen a few prototypes. I did see a ball shooter from 1305. Here it is. They shot a lot of balls really quickly. Notice they're, they're wearing safety glasses. Pow, pow, pow. That's pretty cool. And they're being gravity fed into that, into that wheel. So they're not forcing them into the wheel. It's a gravity feed. But that's pretty cool to see how many shots they can fire within a couple seconds. So good for team 1305. We are proud to have the AN1 for you three as the kit of parts chassis again for this year. It's a very durable, very workable chassis for FRC teams. It's very configurable also. You can, you can add in mechanum wheels or you can add in um, another wheel on the side. So if you have three wheels, you have four wheels. You can add in Dura Omni wheels on the corners to make yourself a little more, a little more agile. We have some XL plates that are longer, the end plates, so you can make yourself wider than the standard size also. So we have a lot of different options. Check out our website for the AM1 for U3 options. Last note, I do wanna give a serious hello and get better wishes to our friend Don Bosi at first, president of first. Don, we hear that uh, you had surgery and we wish you the best. Here's to you, Don. Please get better soon. I'll, I'll see you on Friday. We're, I think we're gonna go out to lunch, so I don't know where we're going, but it, it, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun, so stay tuned for Friday. Thank you.